16 News is sponsored by UAMS Health for a better state of health. Now, Fox 16 Sports. Early season hype seems like the distant past right about now. The Razorbacks are on a skid, but they had a chance to rebound today at the Bud. Mississippi State is in town. Mason Jones has been the star of the show for Arkansas lately. He's going to start off hot right after tip, draining a three. He finished with 38 points, but the Bulldogs have a little bit of that up their sleeve too. Arkansas would erase a 17-point second-half deficit, but the final possessions mattered most. Mississippi State is close. Game is down to the wire. Arkansas is up by one. Mason Jones made that three miss. They can't capitalize on the other end. The Bulldogs with that tip in. Hogs fall 78-77. They've lost seven of their last eight SEC games. Coach Musselman talks Mason Jones not driving to the basket and the Hogs' poor defense in the final seconds. Certainly, Mississippi State's defense was focused on him. They forced him into a tough shot. He had 38 points in 34 minutes. If we don't have Mason play at that level, this game's not close. We gave help on the dribble drive. We defended without fouling. And they had a seven-footer reach over us and tap the ball in. Better luck today for Razorback Baseball. The Diamond Hogs passed the first test of the season Friday, 5-1 over Eastern Illinois. Today, they'd stay unbeaten. First inning, Braden Webb with this solo homer. Still in the first, Matt Goodhart is going to have a two-run blast. 3-0 Hogs early on, and they'd stay on the gas. A six-run fourth inning helps lead Arkansas to a blowout. Arkansas wins 10-1. Pitcher Patrick Wicklander only allowed three hits in five innings. The Little Rock Trojans are also back in the diamond. Before we get to how their basketball teams did in their Texas two-step, let's head to Gary Hogan for opening weekend. Another match with Illinois State. Trojans pitched a 6-0 shutout yesterday. Score us at the top of the fourth. That Eli Sievert put out of the runner. That's a good start for Little Rock here. Trojans go on offense. and Miguel Soto gets on base. Tucker Childs is going to follow. He's going to knock a double to get two men on base. These guys are looking good in the fourth, and again, it's scoreless, but Tim Dixon would finish the job. The first home run of the 2020 season for Little Rock, you're seeing it right there. That's a good blast. It was had a good knock on it, too. They go up 3-0 and would hold on in the end for a 7-6 win. Trojans are back tomorrow looking for a season opening sweep. Not looking as good for the Trojans on the hardwood, though. Little Rock's seven-game winning streak came to a screeching halt earlier this week against Texas State. Now they're at UT Arlington, and they'd fall again. Mavericks would win 76-65. Daryl Walker and his team have a week until their next game, so they'll be on the lookout for answers. As for the women Trojans, same team, different arena, same result. They're at Jack Stevens Center against UT Arlington. Joe Foley was looking for his 800th win. He's not going to get it. Final 62-46, all Mavericks late. That does it for sports. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night at this time for the final score. More news and weather after the break. Let